Imagine the body as a battery and the fluids inside of you made of mostly salt water. Mm. And the cathodes to charge that battery up are your hands and are your feet. So if we have stagnation of fluids at the hands and the feet, we're short, we're shortening up the charge that we can get. Mm. The fluid inside of the fascia is a plasmatic fluid mm. that is housing electrons. And it literally changes form. It goes from a liquid back to a solid mm. because it can carry um, electricity. Yes, it's piezoelectric. Piezoelectric is just saying it's the same way this microphone works. When we create pressure, there is a nerve impulse <laughs> that carries it back to our brain that says, oh, something is touching me. That's all piezoelectric is. Okay. But it's also polymorphic and metaphasic. Hmm. And the best way that I found to explain this is as a child, when you're running and then you fall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Face and, plant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you just kind of roll around, you get up and you're laughing. It's because our body is actually able to, in a state of health, kind of liquefy mm. and then also harden. So if you think of a power lifter getting under a bar and taking that big deep breath before they push up, it has this ability to become solid and very sturdy as well as becoming liquid, which is why a lot of coaches are getting into how do we operate this with conscious control. Um, I can't help but think about, you know, how you're describing it and everything in the human body being so interconnected and so intertwined and what damage like the the current modern day like medical system has done to the mentality of us by separating everything like mm. if you've got a lung issue you see a pulmonologist if you've got a foot issue you know what I mean like if you've got a head issue or brain issue you see someone else a heart issue everything's so separated and this conversation makes me think about how that's a great way to flip the script to say no it's not it's all so intertwined 